What you doing, Moose? The most glamorous part of my job. Yeah? Cleaning the poop out of the bottom of the cooling system. Doesn't it do that on its own? We run some stuff through this that they're not expecting me to. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the big changeover from metal to wood? Well, we've got it set up now so there is no big changeover. Okay. But you have to clean the sludge. Ah, uh, so you have to go through and manually super clean every single part of the machine before you go over to wood? Yeah, and this is, most of it is easy, you vacuum and you hose it down. Yeah. And then when you get down to the bottom collection, you have to trowel it out. Ah. Uh, because we get that. Ah, uh, okay. You can't just use the hose? Not no, because there's no way to get through because there's little tiny holes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Everywhere else, yes, you use the hose. It's really easy. Okay. Not right here. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. But it's not physical. Can I try an experiment? Okay. I got an idea that might make that easier. Sure. Use use the hose from the back, like spray it up there and see if you can flush stuff out that way. So you want me to spray the hose this way? Yeah, like, well, I'd stick it up in there way, but you gotta turn the cooling on to do that. Alright, hold on. That's, that's just my thought. It may be a dumb idea, but it's what I got. Okay. Hose is on. Don't run away. Oh. Now you're thinking. Get, get your stick out of there. life we lead most. I know. Did it help? I think that's a good thing to do once I've got the giant chunks out of it. Okay. I think I have to add more water to this too. Okay. Hello guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's Saturday, June 28th at 11.55 hours. Lavelle and KC are here. Hi there. They're doing plumbing. Hello. And they brought us a cool toy. Mm -hmm. So, I gotta show you guys something. This is, this is neat. Now, for those of you that have been following our program for a while, you might remember when we built a soundproof room for the SR, and we had to install the vacuum table. So those are the vacuum pumps for the vacuum table, okay? You can see how big they are. Each one of those is about two and a half or three horsepower, give or take. So, the problem was, those were the biggest vacuum pumps we had. And it works for a vacuum table, it's okay. But it doesn't work well because we can't generate enough volume at enough pressure to do what we need to do properly. And I tried to get gassed to donate and they came out, they toured the place, we met with the guys and they basically told me to go pound sand in my ass. And which sucks because gassed is a, a massive company, more money than God, and they wouldn't donate us a, stim a stupid little pump. So Casey and Lavelle show up and not only do they donate us a giant Here's my e-cig for scale, okay? That's, that's how big this pump is. A giant pump. But it's not gassed. It's a better brand. It's Bora. So if you're looking into uh, big vacuum pumps, I strongly recommend Bora. They gave us two of them! And they're bloody huge. Check that out. So, uh, it's a, a one inch or an inch and a quarter output on the, uh, the pumps on the table right now, and that's it's a four inch feed right there. So these are these are big for serious vacuum pumps and I am excited because now we can do all the, the flow that we need to be able to do hold downs for the whole vacuum table system and this is going to totally change our whole CNC shop so I'm really excited about that. And I want to share this with all the nerds in the IRC who are going to want the info. I got to turn this upside down because I put the thing on upside down but there's the maker plate on it. 
So yeah, that's some power. And they're both exactly the same. So that's going to be a whole thing. Whole new vacuum system upgrades. And I am deeply excited about that with the new Bora pumps. So you'll be hearing all about that. Oh, Moose is still cleaning. You making a mess? Kind of. Did you add water? Not yet. No? But you're going to? I need to. I need, okay. to, I need to refresh the cooling system. Yeah? Cool. It's, it could be better. It could be better? Yeah. Okay. We also use this on Sundays to uh, make burgers. So you guys know. Burgers? Yeah, you just you throw a side of beef in here. With a, Iskar makes a tool for that. The, the meat shredder? Yeah. I'm sure well, Rick's got an experience with a few of those. That's what <laughs> my uh, tool number 21 is for. Tool 21 is the meat shredder? There's no tool in 21. That's pocket 21. Okay. Pocket 21. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Pocket 21 isn't tool 21. Right. That's the Iskar meat shredder. Yeah, that's your burger tool. That's your burger tool? Okay. Yeah. Makes great taco salad. <laughs> we'll be back. Almost ready.